What's going on everybody and welcome back to the final Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video I will be doing on my channel um, for a, a while anyway. Well I might do a Blackout as a series and stuff but um, as like a weekly series instead of Overwatch, um, sorry not Overwatch, that finished ages ago, uh, Fortnite. So um, yeah but today is the review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm going to go over each um, of the main game modes and I'll also talk about a few extra things uh, as well after um you know I've uh, gone over them so let's uh, start off with multiplayer with uh, gameplay being multiplayer um so yeah let's get into multiplayer so multiplayer um I'm really in I really do like uh, the multiplayer um like when earlier like this year when they said it was like overwatch and it was really bad and stuff I really wasn't expecting it to be good but it's actually really decent like, I'm really having fun playing multiplayer I'm actually attempting to try and get um dark matter right now um the reason um yeah i'm trying to get dark matter and um i didn't get it on black ops uh three i wasn't even really close at all i got all my um smgs diamond but not my uh, assault rifles or anything else so uh, this one though there aren't as many guns in black ops four than there was in black ops three there was quite a lot more and i'm not talking about dlc weapons i'm just talking about guns that came out at launch um because uh, they didn't really count towards the dark matter had to get like um I had to do it in a different way for them. Um so yeah. But um I really um I really did enjoy um the uh, the um I really did enjoy um uh, that. Um at the moment I'm doing my assault rifles and then I'll probably do the SMGs and the tactical rifles and then I'll probably get into LMGs, then then um pistols uh, I'm doing the rocket launcher pretty much alongside everything else. Um just trying to do that. The only rocket launcher they have. And then a sniper and also um Um what's it called? Um and then snipers and also shotguns as well. That's probably the order I'm gonna be doing it in. But anyway that's um that's for later and stuff. Um but um yeah, no, um I really um but as I said, the multiplayer is really good. I do like the specialist, I like all their um abilities and stuff um i feel like they're really really good um i like the specialist anyway i was actually qu i'm actually one of the i'm a specialist fan and stuff um obviously um you know um call of duty i've been playing call of duty ever since modern warfare 4 well actually no that's a lie my first call of duty was actually um world at war but um i went back and did modern warfare 4 and i also played a bit of uh, call of duty 3 and 2 as well and I've even played a bit of one as well, and I've played quite a lot of the Call of Duties and stuff. And um, but the multiplayer has always been obviously the, their main priority. I don't think it was a huge priority in this one. Um, the next uh, thing I'll talk about in a minute is um, uh, another main reason. But um, you know, I just feel like this was really, really it was you know it's quite smooth and stuff. I mean, there are a few there are a few flaws, but um, I feel like. Um, you know, with uh, just a few things, there's a few little glitches and stuff that I don't know if it's just me has the problems or whatever. But um, I do. Um, oh yeah, there is one thing: the armor. It has to go, or something has to be done about it. It's awful. I dislike it, and I feel like it should just be taken out of the game. Honestly, it's it's just annoying. Anybody who uses it isn't a good player, and if they say they're a good player. If you're really a good player, you wouldn't be using that. Even if you're a mediocre player, you shouldn't be using armor. So, if you say you're a good player but you use armor all the time, you're not a good player. That's why you're using it, to give you extra health, to get kills. But I've killed quite a lot of people using armor because they're still not good by using the guns. So, I'm just saying that. But yeah, that's pretty much multiplayer covered. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the next game mode. Alright, so moving into blackout so this is obviously a the new edition uh, new exclusive you know just i feel like it's just going to be on this game uh, battle royale but it's um this is funny actually so back when um this was like first announced well before it was announced when people were talking about battle royale i didn't think it was true i thought nah the and you know the campaign was going to kick out i was like nah that's not a thing like, there will be a campaign and there will and there will not be battle royale. That just that's just silly. But then it was announced, and I was like, right. I was disappointed that there wasn't going to be a campaign, um, but I was um, but I was willing to give the battle royale a chance. And I said, if it was good, then whatever, I'll rate it. I'll probably play loads of it and stuff. And um, you know, I'll 
you know be less bummed out about not having a campaign and stuff this year and um i was like i waited and then the, the beta came out and i was like you know this a lot of people were saying it was really good and i was like okay i'm quite intrigued i'll wait until the launch because i couldn't play it and um because i didn't i was i don't pre-order games you see i just don't do that in case the um in case anything bad happens with the game or it gets cancelled or something like that but um i was um i was you know um i've just been playing quite a few games i still haven't won yet by the time recording this video probably still haven't but um i just um i just think that um it's just it is it's quite challenging like i've been like into the top five like many many times but and the top two and um you know it's it is um it is hard and it's really good i'm really enjoying myself like i just got into the game and i was like this is really fun like because whilst the game was installing it was the only one open like zombies and multiplayer went or, or anything else wasn't table wasn't playable so i just jumped straight into the battle royale and it's it's really good like i'm really having fun playing it and um yeah um um i can get kills on it and it's just it's just a load of fun honestly i, d I definitely rate it so um yeah well that um so yeah pretty much i don't really think there's anything else really to say um so yeah oh yeah and by the way i never actually rated the multiplayer i get the multiplayer i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 i'm gonna give the battle royale honestly a, a 9 out of 10 it was really really good actually no no multiplayer is gonna be a 7 and i'm gonna give this one an 8 how about that there we go so um yeah no it was actually pretty good um so yeah let's move on to the um final game mode all right now zombies so what do i think of the zombies this year uh for call of duty black ops 4 for Treyarch zombies and stuff so obviously Treyarch zombies is before i say anything it is the best Treyarch zombies is the best i mean like um what are they called uh, infinity wards was an attempt and a half um let's just say it wasn't great but it was okay i guess sledgehammers was um Sledgehammers, no, no, I, d I don't really enjoy Sledgehammers that much, to be honest. In Advanced Warfare, I never even played Zombies in Advanced Warfare because the first map that came out on Zombies, you actually had to buy. The the map that came with the game, you actually had to buy it. It didn't even come with the game, you had to buy it. It was ridiculous. Honestly, ridiculous. So I never even got a chance to play Exo Zombies because uh, I wasn't interested anyway, and the first and the first map wasn't even a bloody available because you had to buy it. And that's the map that came out, you know, right away when the game came out. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. You know. Good old, um... Good old, uh, Sledgehammer there. Um, but they obviously had the Final Reach, which is the only tri uh, the only Sledgehammer Zombies I've ever played. Oh, and they did actually end up releasing that smaller map as well. Um, that ended up becoming a multiplayer map, uh, which I did play. Um, which was is yeah, alright, I guess. Um, but Sledgehammer Zombies isn't that great. But Treyarch Zombies is just absolutely beautiful. Like in Black Ops, uh, more at War, Black Ops One and Black Ops Two. You know the zombies were alright. There was a you know glitches and stuff, and but it was still enjoyable. My opinion, I think Black Ops Three had the best zombies. Honestly, it was so, it was just so good and stuff. Like each of the, like each of the maps were great. Even Zetsubonoshima wasn't too bad in the end. I mean, it was probably the worst one out of all of them, but it's still not too bad. You know, I still have fun playing it, you know, having fun is like the main thing. And it's just, it just makes, it's just so good. Um, and uh, Black Ops 4 Zombies, anyway, is, is, is good. It's, I, I don't really know if it's better than Black Ops 4. I kind of miss the, um, no, I like the new characters. No, the new characters are good. I actually uh, like the new characters. Um, I kind of miss the, um, the old, the voice, um, you know, like the, uh, maxed ammo. That was a terrible version of it, but basically, you know, like that, um, like that, you know, um, the voice, you know, and, uh, I do miss the perk machines as well, they've been changed, obviously, in the game, I wish the perk machines just stayed, because, I wish they were at least in Blood of the Dead, because, you know, that makes sense, you know, and, um, it's whatever, I mean, I and I wish they were also in 5 as well, or Classified, sorry, that's the actual map name, um, so, um, yeah, no. But um I do like the uh, little power ups you get. I wasn't really too sure what you meant to do with them at first. Um I do love the maps. Voyage of Despair, 
9 and Blood of the Dead, which are the ones I played. I didn't get to play classified, I just had a gameplay from somebody else who sent me some. But, bloody, um, what's it called though, it was really, really good, like, really good. Um, like, th they're so colourful, they're just beautifully done. And I like the uh, bot system that was added, and you can actually have all, you can, you know, get all the dialogue, and it's just so much easier. I mean, I just stuck the uh, Easter egg cutscenes on at the end, um, just to show you, like, the full thing, because it is a gameplay walkthrough in the, at the end of the day here. Um, so, yeah, um, but I've always loved zombies, love zombies a lot here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do, because uh, with Black Ops 3, I did download the DLCs. I don't think I'm going to download the DLCs, though, for um, this one, so... Um, yeah, um, I might wait until they, because uh, with Black Ops 3 they actually ended up having the maps come out on their own, which I'll probably do with um, uh, this game, I'll just wait until each zombie map comes out on their own, and um, yeah, it should um, it should be good, um, so yeah, uh, I guess uh, we'll get into the final talk of the review. Okay, so, uh, I've gone over the multiplayer battle royale and uh, zombies. Uh, now I just want to talk about the extra things like the uh, the campaign and the um, supply drops and all that stuff and just what I think about all of that. So first off, let's rate everything. Um, as I said, so multiplayer, as I said, um, gets a gets a seven and a half. I feel like um, battle royale gets an eight, and the zombies will get a eight and a half. I feel like. Um, and now let's grade the rest of the game. So. The Specialist HQ. So this is the campaign for Call of Duty this year. Um, I'm really happy that they did something. I am, so at least, you know, at least, you know, the people, you know, like the Rad Brad and myself and, well, I mean, the big walkthrough YouTubers. I'm not a big walkthrough YouTuber at all. But, you know, I like to do walkthroughs and stuff since, you know, that's like one of the main things on my channel nowadays. And uh, it's a thing I've really stuck to for, well, now nearly a year. So actually two years, actually, because I started it. At the end, near towards the end of 2016, so yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was around this time actually, 2016. So yeah, two years. I've been doing gameplay walkthroughs now, and um, I've been having a blast doing it. Uh, we'll continue it into 2019, and um, the poop. But um, yeah, no, I really did um, enjoy the. Uh, I really did. Um, I really did um, actually quite enjoy the the uh, specialist campaign. I'd probably say it's better than the actual Black Ops 3 one, to be honest. Even, you know, there were cutscenes and stuff, and it was it was enjoyable. I actually enjoyed it. Like, the cutscenes were really good. Um, even in the zombies, the cutscenes were just absolutely fantastic. And, um, you know, it was it was actually not even like that bad of a story. And it was a half campaign, really. It was like a mini campaign, if you want to go by. It was kind of like, in Black Ops 3, there was the campaign, which was questionable but it was like their second attempt at the campaign but um the um funny enough here about that is um the original uh, um yeah because they had an original one back division didn't like it so they had to make another one and that's why it wasn't as good that was that's rumored apparently but um yeah no i really did um i really did enjoy the um i really did actually quite enjoy it to be honest and uh, but in Black Ops 3 there was this um, other small campaign called Nightmares, and it was basically like campaign. It was like campaign missions, but the enemies were replaced with zombies, and it was done a bit differently. And uh, that one was alright, and that's kind of what it reminded me of, and that's what I kind of thought would they, if they were going to add somewhat of a campaign, it would be that, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, I managed to get a, a ten-part series because uh, it's just uh, basically specialist training missions, and then you get like a cutscene of their backstory, and then a uh, cutscene of what's going on all together. And uh, basically, the story. If you have, if you don't know, um, I mean, this is a spoiler. You can click off now or whatever. But basically, um, it's kind of just like um, basically all all of the all ten of them were used uh, to fight for these people. Um, and uh, yeah, this lady and um, stuff. Sorry about that. Sorry, I dropped something. Um, but um yeah so for the um so for yeah the all right so the anyway so yeah i'm going to give the specialist hq i'm probably going to give it i'm actually going to give it a 6 honestly it wasn't even that bad it was pretty good 6 um and now let's talk about the supply drops that were added so supply drops no like if you can have supply drops 
I don't understand the point. Um, I feel like we're not really going to say much about the supply drops. Just, I just don't agree. I just don't think like they should be in the game. Um, I don't really use them at all. I didn't really use them that much in Black Ops 3. I kind of just uh, my uh, crypto keys. Uh, I believe that's what they were. Um, just by playing loads of the loads of the game, and then I just opened uh, cases from there and tried to get lucky. That's pretty much what I did. Ugh. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit. Uh, it's late at night. It's 24 minutes past um, uh, 12 in the evening. So whilst I'm recording this and everyone else is asleep, so I have to be a bit quiet. And that's why throughout all of this here. And so um, yeah, I did um really enjoy. I did enjoy this game. Um, I give this game actually. Wait, and there's just one more thing. There's the uh, ranked things as well. What they call the tiers. Um, I think there's about 60 tiers altogether. I think I'm on tier three right now. I'm not. I'm not actually trying with them yet because I'm trying to get Dark Matter on multiplayer but um, I will be getting into those a bit more shortly um, I'm very close to prestiging by the way um, where I am right now I'm like uh, prestige um, um, 3 uh, away so um, yeah uh, I know I'm not prestige 3 I'm nearly prestige 1 <laughs> um, sorry I just messed up that. I think I'm like level, fi fi level 52 that's it and um, yeah uh, well, I uh, hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I'm gonna give uh, Black Ops for as a whole. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a solid eight, eight out of ten. Honestly, I'm not getting paid at all by Activision. I don't think Activision know I even exist. Um, but um, honestly, that's just my personal opinion on the game. I thought it's. I thought it was a decent Call of Duty title. It was better than. I'd say it's better than Call of Duty World War Two and Infinite Warfare. So let's just say that. Oh, uh, it's. You know. So um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I mean, it's in a bit of a... I think it's a bit broken at the moment. I feel like there's, there's some problems. But from what I've seen, I'm going to give it an 8. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.